Today I'll show you how to replace the battery of a Google Pixel 3. This one is a spicy pillow. Removing the back glass was pretty easy. It happened practically on its own with some heat. Under the back is a long folded fingerprint reader ribbon held under a plastic bracket with two Phillips head screws. There are five more Phillips head screws holding in the plastic midframe and wireless charger. This entire phone feels like it was just thrown together, as if construction was an afterthought. Almost all the screws are different and randomly sized, but at least they're all Phillips heads. Disconnecting the battery is pretty important. We've also got to disconnect the power and volume buttons as the flex runs slightly over the battery and tearing it is not fun. Google has some pre-installed magic pull tabs here. They're kind of like apples, just way thinner. Sometimes these can be pretty magic. Sometimes not. So we'll have to go under. The battery isn't swollen, just ballooned. The inner cell should be intact with only the outer shielding inflating. I'll usually pop these to prevent bursting when they're packed and sent for recycling. Let's take this outside. I've never had a battery explode or catch fire on me in all the years of repairs, but I'd kind of like to see one do it. No explosive excitement today, I guess. The hole's covered with some electrical tape, and I'll usually tape the connector as well. I'll lay down some double-sided adhesive in strategic locations inside the frame. Basically just knot over the squeeze sensor ribbon and you'll be fine. The new battery fits perfect in the frame, and make sure that the power and volume ribbon isn't stuck underneath. I'll get the mid-frame and wireless pad laid back in place, then replace those five screws. This would make a really cool transparent phone. Just with all the gold and black going on, it would look great. The oddly bent fingerprint cable gets snapped back on the board. And we take the small plastic bracket, thread it into place, tucking just under that copper coil ribbon. Two more screws and we're ready to stick it back together. This one is all fixed up and got much thinner in the process. Is this phone weight loss surgery? Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time.